make a collective card game in Unity. And welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a collective card game in Unity. In this video, we're going to use UI image and text objects to make a card. It's not going to be very pretty right now, but it has enough functionality for us to move forward. And later on, we'll add more aesthetics to it. Let's begin. So there's a lot of different ways you can make cards for card games. You can import assets from other sites. You can make your own through Photoshop. Uh, I've done that before. But for this series, I'm actually just going to make the cards out of Unity UI image and text objects because number one, it's free. And number one, it's available to anyone using Unity. So the very first thing we need is a canvas. So we're going to right click over here in the hierarchy window. And then we're going to go to UI and go down to canvas and it'll create our canvas and event system. And inside our canvas, we're going to create an image right here. And we're just going to simply call this image card. And then the height and width of this image will make it 200 by 300. I think that I think that's a good size right there. So this is the outline of our card right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create another image inside of this image. So click on card, then right click, then go down to UI and then make another image. And now we're simply going to call this image our border. And actually we'll make things different colors. We'll go back here and we'll make this color. Let's just, let's just make that black. So click on card and go down here and you have the, the color palette. I'm just going to make mine black. You can make yours any color. It's your game. So now we're going to go back to our border and let's go ahead and we're going to make this a little bit smaller than we did the outline of the card itself. So let's say 190 and this was 300. So 290. I think that's pretty good. And, and you can adjust it if you want. If you want a little bit bigger of a border, you can make that 180 and maybe 280. And it just depends on what size of a border you want. I'll just keep mine the way it was. So as you can see, we have this card right here. This is the outline of our card. This is the basically the, the entire game object we built underneath this or as a, as a child of this original card game object that we created. And the second one is just simply aesthetic. We just wanted a border to go around this. And let's make that color. I don't know, you want, we'll make it a little more grayish for our border just to have a little bit different of a of a look and you can make it any color. You can make it red, whatever you like. I'll just I'll just go a little darker so that it can be seen like that. I think that's good for now. Maybe I'll come back later. So inside this border, we want to build another layer because that's what we're doing here. We have an outer layer and an inner layer inside of it. And we're going to go down and we're going to go to UI again and we're going to create an image. But this one we're going to call name. And this is where the name of our card is going to be. I'm going to go up here to the movement function and we're just going to put it up here. And let's see, I think we'll make our width. What does it look like at 50? No, that's not what we want. Let's go back to 100. Actually, no, we want it a little smaller than the other one. So let's say that's 180 there for mine and we'll make its height. I think that maybe we'll make that a little smaller. We'll see how it works out. We can always make adjustments, but I think for a nameplate, I think that kind of works. We'll put that right there for now. And underneath name, we need a text object because we need our name to be written there. We're just going to put text. And as you can see, it says text right there. We're just simply going to put name there right now. Going to go over here and we'll center it in both directions for right now. Also, you can play around with the fonts if you like. Maybe maybe I'll make this font just a little better. What does 20 look like? I'll leave it right there for now. Maybe I'll play for it later. The important thing here is creating the template for the card. So we're going to go over here and we're going to rename this our name text. 
And then we're going to go up here to border again. And we're going to right click that. Go down to UI. Go down to image. And we're going to call this image. Actually, we're going to call this our image border. Create a little little box to put the image in. And now just keep in mind that this, this image border is not a child of name. This is a child of border. These are both inside the border, but they are separate boxes. So we're going to take our image border. We'll, we'll kind of snug it up here to our name and we'll make it, what was it? 190 wide. It was 180 wide. So it'll be the same width. And I think we'll just make it a little bit taller, 150. Let's lower it a little bit. We'll probably have to make a little bit of an adjustment here because I actually, I'll just do it right now. Let's let's say 130. And I think that's good. And hopefully there'll be an, enough room here for our description in the bottom. If not, we can always change the size of the image. And I'll go ahead and we'll make this border. Actually, we'll just make this border black again. So it'll contrast with the the gray on the edge there and underneath this we're going to add click on image right click go down to ui again go to image and this is where you would actually put your image which we'll get to a little later right now this is going to be blank but it, you would have a picture like you normally do on a card game and you would just put this in here this source image and it would appear there let's just 170 and what was the height 130 125 let's make it 120 so right here is where the image would go into this actual image object right here actually let's let's increase this a little bit what was the border of the name actually we'll, we'll just leave it there for now that's a good size you can play around with your how you want your borders to be and then last what we also want inside of our border is a text box for the descriptions of our card. So go down to UI and go down to text again. And we're going to take this and we're going to lower it and we'll make it the same width as the others. 180 and let's see about height. 100 work. I think for now that's pretty good. And maybe we'll make that the color of this. No, we'll just leave it actually against the border and we'll just leave it like this for now. Actually, that, that'll be fine. Let's just leave it right here. The we want we want to write everything from left to right. So we'll keep this alignment exactly the way it is. Maybe we could center it. No, we'll keep it like that. So Right here is where we're going to write our descriptions. So we'll just put descriptions. I'll probably go back and, and change this up. Actually, I'm going to change this up right now. Uh, we're going to create, actually, because uh, I want an outline so I can see these words better. So I'm going to go down. We're going to go to UI and we'll create an image. And we're going to just call this these description border and we're going to take this text and we're going to put it inside here so now it's on top so we're just going to play around with our description border size and we'll just make this 180 oops one some 180 and let's see what we want the height to be now the entire this words are going to move we'll, we'll fix this in a second and we'll just leave that white maybe just a little bit more longer under our box here. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to rename this description text. And now we're just going to move our text box up a little bit so it fits inside here like so. And now we can read it a little better. And that way, the words are a little more uh, visible than it was with the gray background. And we can always change this color 
to what we want to give it a nicer aesthetic. So we have a we have a good outline to our card and now we can wrap this up and finish how it looks. So actually we're going to drink this box, this name box, because I want to put the, the mana cost box right here. So we're just going to make this a little shorter. Let's say 130. Let's see how that looks. I'm going to move it all the way over here to the edge. And this will be a space for our mana box, or our mana cost box. So to do that, we're going to go up here. We're going to click card. And we're going to right click, go down to UI, put in another image. And we're going to move this up here and over. And we're going to fit it in that little space. So let's say its width was 50. Does that fit right there? It might. Yeah, I think it does fit right there. So, and we'll make its height 30. Nope, too small. Make its height 50. That's still too big. 40. That may be just about right. We'll slip it right in there. And this will be our mana cost box. And actually, let's, let's just give it some depth. Let's, let's make this Actually, let's make this black. And then we'll call this, we'll rename this mana border. And then inside of this, we'll make another image and we'll just create a little bit of a border here. UI, go to image. And what was the borders of this? It was 50 and 40. So let's make this 45 and let's make this 35. And that's perfect right there. Look, it just, it fits right neatly in there. And we'll call this, I don't know, mana image for lack of a better term. And inside the mana image, we're going to put a text or wait what happened here this is our that was our thing that was our mana image why did it create a whole nother let's get rid of this let's delete that oh it created a created a new image there i didn't rename it all right i see what i did so let's delete that Let's go back to our image here and we'll rename this mana image. And inside mana image, we're going to put a little bit of a text. We'll have to move this over and we'll just shrink down its size to, we'll put it actually at the same dimensions of the other one, 45 and 35, 25. 35 and we'll just fit it right in that box right there and basically we're just going to put a number here so we'll just put the number one there for now we'll center it just like so maybe we could just move this over to give it more of a centering so now we have a little number for our, our mana right there and right now we're going to do the same thing down here in this description box we're actually going to do it with the description box. So let's go to our description border, actually. And let's just shrink it a bit. And we'll just move it up a little bit. Right there. We'll move the text a little bit. to Just make it look nice and even. Actually, maybe we want to even shrink it a little more. Let's see what 80 looks like. That might be good right there. We'll probably have to change it later. So just like we did here, we're gonna put a little box down here. Actually, let me go back to the mana border. Let's just lift it up a hair. So it looks even. We got some something that we can differentiate one box from the other. And so just like with the mana border, actually, do you know what we're gonna do? We're just going to duplicate that. And we're gonna bring it down here. And we're just going to change the sizing. So we're going to go to the first mana border. We'll make it the same width as the description border. 180. Actually, make sure we'll rename this. From mana border to power border. This is where the, the strength number will be. 
So the width of that border will make it 180. We'll move the whole thing over like so. We'll change up the height a little smaller. 30, maybe. I think it almost fits there. Maybe just a little more, 25. And then we're going to have to do the same with everything on the inside. So the mana image, if that was 80. Maybe we'll make this 75. Maybe that's two. Make sure I'll put our exposition at zero. Um, wait. Oh, it was 180, so we'll say 175. Inside the border, and we'll change the height down to 30, maybe 25. Maybe 20 works. That works perfect. See how it's got that little bit of a border there? Go back to power border. Just We'll just even this out so it looks nice and clean. And we're going to rename this power image. And inside of this, we have our text. We'll call this our power text. Rename power text. Actually, in our mana border, we'll make sure to rename this mana text. So I think right now, I mean, it's it's not the best looking card template, but it gets its job done. You can play around with your sizing and your borders and your colors and make it how you want. But at least hopefully you got the gist of how to build a card like this using images and text boxes in the UI. So that's it for today. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and support me on Patreon. And a big special thanks to all my Patreon supporters. See you next time.